Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. On my channel I sometimes talk about the big, exciting SHTF events like the Meteor Impact, the Zombie Apocalypse, or World War III, but more often than not I like to focus on the more mundane, less exciting stuff, which accounts for my channel's popularity, but I think is a real service to people, and one of the big things that uh, happens to all of us, especially during the summertime, is things like sunburn, and if you get too many of those, ultimately things like skin cancer. I've got a bug out bag and I wear it all the time, it's actually my EDC pack, uh, and one of the things I've been trying to get into my EDC pack for a while is a hat. If you watch my channel for a while, you know that I love these Western style hats. There's a lot of shade that they throw uh, across, uh, you know, your head and shoulders. In fact, right now, I'm not sure how much of my face you can even see. I really like these types of hats, but one problem with these is they don't really cram into a backpack very easily. There's other types of hats that do cram into a backpack pretty easily. A baseball cap, for example. The only problem with a baseball cap is that when I put one on, I look kind of like a major asshole. And also, they don't get the back of your neck. So I've been thinking for a while, well, what kind of a hat can I put into my pack? And I know there's like little floppy, uh, uh, I don't know the name of them, but like little floppy kind of canvas hats and things like that. I also look like kind of a douchebag when I wear those. So, you know, you don't want to sacrifice style for, uh, you know, things like avoiding skin cancer. So I've been looking for a while uh, uh, for something that I could use for, uh, you know, uh, UV protection uh, that I could put in my pack that was really small and I finally came across it. A friend of mine actually presented it to me and I'm wearing it right now. It's this shirt. Not only does the shirt offer protection of the back of my head with this kind of hood. Okay, yeah, I, I look a little bit like an Oompa Loompa from the first Willy Wonka movie, but the the pros of this thing are so wonderful that I, I kind of at this point don't even really care what it makes me look like. I really, really love this. Not only does it uh, shade uh, the, the top of my head and the back of my neck, but it also gets my arms. So if I'm wearing a short, uh, a short sleeve shirt and I'm out somewhere and let's say, you know, you're driving and your car breaks down and you weren't prepared to walk two hours in, under intense sunlight at the peak of the, of the, you know, the solar day, you know, you could have something like this. You can throw it on. It doesn't protect my face, uh, you know, so that's something, you, you know, maybe you would want to kind of, <laughs> wow, it's the ultimate combination. Maybe you would want to, you know, pair it with a, a baseball cap or something like that. But I think that this thing is really, really awesome. It's a UV shirt designed specifically for this. It's got a little uh, thumb hole so you can uh, kind of cover up all of the back of your hand. Only your uh, your digits are exposed. And w the really great thing about this, uh, you know, even better than avoiding skin cancer, is that it also keeps you very cool. The fabric is made so that it reflects UV light away, but honest to God, I gotta believe that it's also reflecting a lot of infrared light away because wearing this in the sun right now, I actually feel as cool if not possibly cooler than I would be if I was just wearing kind of a t-shirt. It does cut down on the breeze that's going across your skin, but having that infrared, uh, which carries the infrared spectrum of light carries uh, quite the majority of the heat that is in the light, having that get reflected away, it really makes me feel really nice and cool and it's just great to be able to kind of cover up your arms if you want to cover up your arms. I'm working doing construction right now and I'm, I'm kind of got this when I'm uh, when I am working and I, I'm not covering up my face. What I like to do is keep the, the sun to my back. So I'll be I'll kind of be working in this direction. But man, I got to say that this is a really cool uh, kind of tool that you can put into your bug out bag. And this is what I really like about it is you take this thing. It balls up into that. It's about the size of like a softball right there. And for that, you can avoid all kinds of sunburns. You can ver avoid, uh, you know, skin cancer uh, over the long term. It keeps you cooler. And man, I really, really like these things. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to the specific one that I have. But any kind of a breathable UV kind of protectant uh, shirt like this, I think would, uh, you know, offer you a lot of the similar benefits. I can't vouch for all of them because I haven't tried them all on. I'll put, again, I'll put a link to this specific brand that I've got down in the description below at the time of this recording. It's uh, $20 for one of these shirts, which is really probably the most expensive shirt I've ever bought. I usually go to like the thrift store to get my shirts, but if it's protecting my skin from the types of things that might cost me thousands of dollars in the future, if I were to get skin cancer and all the pain and suffering along with that, you know, on top of that, like an early death potentially, I think it's highly worth it. And you know, it may not be as awesome as my Western style hats, but it covers a lot more of my uh, skin surface area and it packs up a lot smaller. That's it. Thanks for watching. 
This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.